home. It's a Sunday afternoon here in Manila. It's a Saturday night all the way in the Pacific. And it's time for the Quit Stalling Geek Cast. Welcome, everyone, to that weekly episodic podcast where we bring you the latest news and our views on pop culture and geek dumb. I'm your host, I'm Harold Sylvester. Welcome you to the Quit Stalling Media Studio Studio, featuring BMO now. And, uh, yeah, it's been a long week. It's been a long week, and uh, my co-hosts will tell you the same thing. But thankfully, we've got this guy returning after a, a one-show hiatus. We're going to be talking about the boys with him. He's got his own boy at home, and he's flown back to him. Give up for Wancho. So, da da How you doing, Wancho? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Good, good. Just happy to be on the show. It's going to... It's my first time doing the show in this new office. It's a little small, so trying to avoid the echo. So, you know, just, just, get, just, just tell me if I have to tone it down a bit. But You're, you're toning it yeah. a little too low. Because no. <laughs> I'm so worried. I need, I need those little eggshell things. That's what I'm going to work on. Just little eggshell things and just start taping them on my wall. Yeah, dude, that's what I did. <laughs> did, did, yeah, did, you, yeah. did you get the link I sent you for the, for the eggshell guys? <laughs> The, the cart uh, I, I totally forgot. I don't know. Did you just send it or was it before? Anyway, I can reset. Glad it. to be on the show, but I'm not the only one. No, I have not. here from the far west, Pacific what? Pacific Northwest, the one, the only Sensei Humor. Konichi, what's up, my <laughs> grasshoppers? I'm sorry, no, Jared. my screen is not frozen. This is really. <laughs> This is uh, this is a. Uh, I was temporary. expecting your lips to move. I don't know why. You know, it's just it's all it's all in your mind, man. Just let it happen. It's fine. If he's just what? gonna be a picture, Harold. I don't think you have to zoom in. Should I just let me just talk with my mouth, like you know, every time you come around here, you go on my stream. It's like nobody. What's up, guys? Uh, this is it's me, Derek's tears, sense of humor. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my cam set up yet. My stream room is in is in the process i just moved today so but you have me here with the audio and uh yeah i'm, I'm happy to be here I'm, i missed we were talking about it before but yeah i missed doing this it's uh and it feels good after a long day of moving you just sit relax and talks talk about the boys with the boys you know that's right that's why we're gonna talk about the boys today we're gonna learn today and uh you know, let me let me play a little bed music in the background as we talk about the all the stuff today guys uh i missed one show last week i miss derek's face now uh again for, for the audio only listeners derek is only a photo for the video people today so that's over that's why we're laughing a little bit I, I i swear i was really expecting derek's lips to move and his expressions to change <laughs> I was, I was like, well, oh, it's right. cause usually like, you know, like before you, you announce me, that's like what I'm doing before I, you know, right. Yeah. There's like something I have yeah. or like my face Dude, is like, yeah, right you're, you're like the, you're like a little it's like skitter bug. You're like touching everything right before we put you <laughs> yeah, in like, the camera. Joking. You're like What's the trying to find What's like any toy or something. I'm actually, where's your, you know what? You should, I'm so surprised you didn't put on your hat. I thought you were going to totally do it. I'm sad now. It's so tiny. It's like Aiden's hat. I'm just sad now. Okay, now I'm happy. I'm good. You know, you, when you get an eggshell, you should just like that should be your prop when you start doing the egg thing for your for your office. You know what you should do? Just put start putting stuff just against the wall to kind of help it, right? I think just by placing objects in your room in general it kind of helps, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. Kind of empty. So if you have like a spare mattress, uh, uh, cushions you're not using, <laughs> just uh, imagine just like four four bed mattresses around the, all the walls. Just yeah, like, that'd be pretty fun. It's, it's literally the same thing, you know. Uh, there you go. A, a bed duvet, yeah, just throw it on the wall. It does the same thing. So you can, you you can do a makeshift setup if you have time. Yeah. There you go. I'll keep yeah, working man. on it. I'll keep working on it. I, w- I want that professional look, you know. I want the whole. The whole black. I want. I want my office to look like Harold. You know, like yeah, dude. Here, Harold I'm looking looks at like the guys. he knows what he's doing. Well, looks uh, can be deceiving, all right. But I, <laughs> I've, I've linked you to the guys that uh, that supply me, that supply me this stuff. So he's like, wait, he's like, you don't even know what's on the bottom half of this screen. 
Macho. The looks it's hard all, to see. It's all it's underwear. It's, it's, oh, yeah. are we talking about the the wall or me? <laughs> maybe maybe both. <laughs> it's like, you yeah. know, what, I'm actually. You should just. Have you ever Dude. done like a tour, Harold? That actually would be pretty. I would watch that. I'm kind of curious you, on how your setup is. You angle the camera like a little bit to the on either side, and it's just. It, it's a it's a it's an illusion sir it's all an optical <laughs> illusion <laughs> it's too expensive to do the whole room like you, you'll just see the, drywall this is not the studio yeah. you're looking for type vibe this, <laughs> definitely not definitely not i mean i got my old standing <laughs> desk set up and all of this you know that, that's great yeah i, I think but, you're i props to you man i cannot i cannot believe you do all of our shows standing up that is some ooh. i spend most of my life even in quarantine standing up like i I'm working during the day, standing up. Harold, I'm, do, you, do you want me yeah. to get you a chair? Is that is that what you need? <laughs> a gaming Let chair. Let me know man. internally. Yeah. Just let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll PM well, you watch. Let's, I'll, let's, I spent all my money on this on Excel this, right? stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you send them chair links. He'll send you the eggshell links. <laughs> oh man! All right, so I'm I'm so curious. As to what you guys have been up to the past week, because we didn't have a show last week. Wancho wasn't there the week before. So I'm curious what you guys have been up to. And, you know, just to get it out of the way, uh, for me, I've been catching up on Bob's Burgers, which I've, I've really oh. enjoyed. I haven't been actively following the past two years. So it's, it's kind of like my time to binge because I totally forgot that I love this show and I have this Beef Squatch shirt from, from one of the characters, Gene. Mm. So would recommend uh, if you guys have nothing to, to watch or even if you do and you want like something funny, something lighthearted, Bob's Burgers, definitely. Uh, and Archer's also back on, on the airwaves these days. So I've been, I've been watching the newest season of Archer. And uh, Derek, uh, are, are you an Archer fan? Have you, have you watched Archer? I haven't. A couple of people, I think, including you, have, have definitely told me to check it out. I just haven't got around to it. I heard it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna say it now. Wancho. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, what was it? my witness with the chat as my witness. I know Kevin's still there. All right. Derek, you watch yes. the show, you will not sleep for three straight days because you'll love it so much. This will be the show that you, you won't stop talking about the next how many episodes after you watch it. I am claiming it now. This will be so high up your favorites list. Is this really? show about an archer? No, no, it is not. Instantly went downhill for me. I'm just kidding. No, no I'm <laughs> super sold. It. I actually tier Bob's Burgers above Archer. Oh, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about for Derek's tastes. Because Bob's well, Burgers, see, yeah, that's for what I'm me, saying. I, the same level. Chloe watches Bob's Burgers. I've, I've caught a couple episodes. It's not really my thing. Okay. Um, same with Bojack. There's a lot of stuff that I do like, but I never really like caught Bojack. onto it. Yeah, I Chloe watched. Watch, he loves all that. But did you watch I Bojack just, like in consecutive episodes? Yeah, you, you can't just, just like, exactly. catch a random yeah. episode. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But but I will say though, that's how I started with Rick and Morty. Chloe was watching it, and I kind of was like, you know what? I that I hearing stuff. You know, I'm like, what is going on? I want to watch this now. It kind of sounds crazy. <laughs> Rick and Morty a little better when you see what? the first episode or two <laughs> it's, it's yeah, one of those that uh, it gets true. better as it goes along but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now derek archer will be one of your faves all right, all right I'm, i'll I'm, check I'm, that I'm out is it on it. netflix uh no it should be on hulu it should Ooh, be somewhere in the internet derek somewhere. for you yeah you know where to look yeah well, if, if, you, if you need there, help guys i'm just kidding <laughs> if you need help we got you we got all you. right thank all you right. just hit thank us up guys. Hit us up. but no doubt no doubt for me Right. Cool. I'll definitely uh, check it out now. All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. I'm curious. Uh, since you haven't been on the show a little longer than us, Wancho, what have you been up to recently? Um, just adjusting a life in the Philippines, really. Uh, work has been really, really busy. Really? Like, kind of insanely busy, but that's what I have to deal with at night. Uh-huh. Uh, Geek-wise, though, I caught up to... I'm watching Fire Force. I watched yes. Fire Force. Clover. Yes, Fire um, Force. <laughs> Derek's happy about that. I caught up to the boys. Yeah, you did. Oh, I love I Lovecraft is my weekly that's my show. That's, oh, that's yes. my favorite yes. show right now. Yes, yes. My weekly my weekly fix. Uh, 
Yeah, same. Yeah, just a bunch. Oh, I started playing Final Fantasy 15. Oh, for the first time. For the first time. That's yeah, not for the first time. I'm excited for you though. Excited for you. It's, it's a good game, man. Yeah, just pretty much just catching up on a lot of stuff. I feel like, even though I'm technically busier, the fact that I'm not in the U.S. alone, it just made my mental state a lot better. It's just more awake, and I'm just more open to start doing stuff. You know. That's good. That's I so felt good. like yeah. way more lazy in the, in the U.S. So yeah. Yeah, okay. So literally every single hour of my life is full, which is pretty good. Okay, so it's not burning you out or anything. You're enjoying no, everything. No, no. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Been a, it's been really, really good past five weeks. I can't believe I've only been here for five weeks. Like, I feel like I did so much stuff, but yeah, yeah, pretty good five weeks. God, that's crazy. That's been a month movies. since you left. That's nuts to me. That feels like you just left like a week ago to be honest yeah man <laughs> time flies time yeah it does really Holy flies crap. uh derek yeah, man yeah. what have you been up to you, you you we talked about extensively on the pre-show that you've been on the move yes and i officially moved in today chat uh, i don't have uh everything settled so we have everything moved in as mentioned everything's in boxes in the right room so this is a it's new apartment, a right? a couple of days. Yeah, the new apartment. I'm definitely going to be posting on Twitter, too. And you guys will maybe see it on, on Quit Stall and stuff. Just just kind of keep an eye out kind of what's going on. But um, it's kind of, yeah, dude, us- we have a lot of crap, man. It's like, I was, <laughs> Chloe literally has like 12 boxes of just clothes. And these are like wow. filled totes, dude. I'm just like, we were packing this. And I'm like, what? What are all these? So um, for all the Spark Joy fans out there, we're going to definitely be going Spark- through some stuff. And we're going to see what sparks joy and start throwing some things away. But yeah, I think a lot of this stuff, man, we just have to go through and like say, do you really need this? And just throw it. Uh, we have a lot of day- couple days, though. I don't have internet for until Wednesday. So got something to kill the Ooh. time, at least, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I, I don't think I've been tr- trying to play Among Us. Uh, Among Us has been fun on yeah. stream. Been playing still a little bit of spell break. I played a couple games with Wancho here and there. Um, very Sweet. fun game. I actually just. Uh, from a gaming, like a little gaming side note. So I'm new to mouse and keyboard, right? You guys know that. And yeah. I've been doing it on spell break. So um, I've always well. thought like you're a noob if you go under like 20 sensitivity. So, no, and my, no. yeah. And that, so I've been playing crazy fast. I know but my mouse is 200 DPI, but I know it's not even though. Oh, that, so I'm like looking, yeah, but I'm looking at all these streamers who are like, yeah, I'm on sensitivity six and like seven. I'm like, what <laughs> I'm like maybe i'm just like maybe i played overwatch too fast too i don't know but yeah you, you uh, probably are yeah i was like because i was always under the assumption for some reason that like you need to get good if you can't play high sensitivity on a mouse so no, no. i always thought going low was bad so like but now like dude every ever since i used to i played with harold too a couple i, I think a week ago we, me and you played harold yeah we played some spell break dude yeah and uh we were just like I was telling him how bad it was for me to track on this element in Spellbreak uh, Lightning. And when I lowered it, I'm like, oh my God, a whole new world. I'm like, okay. And that Dude, happened though, literally a day before I moved. So uh, yeah. we'll get back into that. But yeah, um, other than that, I haven't watched anything besides like the boys. And like Watcher said, yeah, Lovecraft has been my thing too, man. Oh, love it. It's it's really good. But yeah, um, that's all I've been doing. That's I'm going to be doing that for the next couple of days, guys. So just moving for Sensei. And then when everything's set up, like you said, I'm excited to see the the house tour when when you got your toys yes. and your props and everything set up, your yes. your rig. I can't wait to to do like a yeah like a Instagram oh yeah I'm, house I'm excited. Tour. I'm yeah. excited. That'd be super fun. And uh, yeah, I had to take advantage of today while all his toys in a box to actually pull out something too. You know, this is the <laughs> oh, only yeah, time Derek's gonna out toy me. No, and now I mean, that you're I'm home, going to out toy Derek. Yeah, and now that you're home, you know you you you're you're gonna pull even as well, right? You're gonna start leveling the oh, playing that's field. True. Oh, that's true. That's true. You got Harold. You're gonna see some like Paw Patrol stuff, toys. You know? All Paw that. <laughs> yeah, dude, Aiden's toys. Oh, oh, we're gonna yeah. see some dinosaurs and excavators. Oh, dude. Whatever the kids are into now, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> what were you saying, Derek? Right. What were you saying? <laughs> No, I was saying like Harold can, you know, he can hook you up too. He can make you some things, you know, like look at all his toys in the back of his stream. Those are sick. I I want that Bemo (laughs) switch holder, like really bad. Oh, dude, yeah, I'll hook you up. 
Yeah, or the, yeah, the, or the, the clone trooper mask. Mask. I know, man. The Darth <gasps> Vader one is what I want so bad. Oh, the Vader one's pretty sick too. Yeah. Uh, and must one be thing nice I've been to make your own toys. One thing I've started to use is uh, this little uh, volume slider that we started making as well. So like I can I can crank up the bed music a little bit right there. Oh, and I can turn it back. Wait, now. you're joking? You were literally joking. That was made from a 3D printer. Yeah. Well, I mean the electronics were you know were bought separately than we assembled. Stuff. That's still crazy. What the heck? Yeah. So you could like customize it to be a quit stalling soundboard. It it literally is a quit stalling soundboard oh right now. Oh my god, dude, that is amazing. I'm getting one for Christmas. That I that's <laughs> it. I'm sold, dude. I don't even care. My birthday money, I'm saving it all for a 3D printer. <laughs> like, I'm, I mean, you I'm say that now, the Xbox and the PS5 come out. Oh, that's this, true. This okay, well, see, this is, that's a good thing about sadly having parents that are divorced is that. Dad will get me something, <laughs> and mom will get me something. <laughs> That's so bad to say. <laughs> but and my my birthday is around Christmas, so it's like I don't, you know. And I, I'm not gonna lie, my being my brother's birthday being in May kind of helps me because like normally they would pair my birthday presents with Christmas presents. But as I got older, I'm like, well, oh, wait a minute now, my brother gets separate birthday presents. <laughs> So y'all need to get me my birthday present and Christmas presents, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I do want to say, Derek, yeah, if, you, if you're interested in something like this, we're looking to ship Elder Jin uh, from Game Byte 1. <gasps> and he, he's looking to purchase Dude. one from us. So I will purchase we, we, one We might start selling this stuff. 100%. We might start selling it. Yeah. 100% would buy one. Like, not, I've, been, I've been wanting one really bad just because it's, yeah, it's so much easier right, to to put the levels up and you don't have to like mess with anything so much and can you 3d oh, yeah. print me a mic stand that would be great yeah I, I, i've <laughs> done it Wait, where's, where's... I enter one. diego and chat like... here i have one like i have one for this mic that i never really use because i have the arm but this is 3d printed for for like oh, that's so crazy meant... man Dang. yeah this was meant for when we like go on on ground like you know interviews but we never you know COVID. so I feel like a boomer. Like, I feel like, you know, like, oh my God, this is so cool. But I feel like people are like, oh, dude, it's been around forever. Like, come on, come on dude, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, it's I like, mean, well... it, like, 3D printing has been around forever, but like, the accessibility is only quite recent. So it's it's totally fine God, that's... to be amazed, right? Damn, that's like, so crazy, man. Like, just three years ago, like, 3D printing would take like days. No, maybe right. not days, but like, you know, full days to get like one tiny thing done. And now it's like a lot faster. They've made these consumer grade 3D printers a lot more efficient so yeah dude have at it like Harold, can you print action figures is that yes. the thing like oh the, the multi-jointed action figures we're looking into it like we're yeah man remember the days when you, you reminded me of something when you said that it would take days remember back in the day where like if you wanted to download a game you'd have to keep your computer on the whole night and possibly the second day like the whole day yeah, so like, yeah. like you, for you live in america that's the only reason why you don't have no. to do that that was even in America. It was like that. You had to leave it on for a whole. When I first bought WoW, man, dude, yeah, man, forever to download. And and like, remember back in the day when you could either download or use the discs, and and you'd, you'd want to use the discs because the downloads would take forever. And then even if you use the discs, the disc you'd still need to like download forever. a patch. <laughs> Insert flip disc over. Like what? What do you mean? <laughs> flip it over. Like, flip this is over. <laughs> no, there's been there's some games that were like that I've had. I it wasn't that good of a game, but I remember like the first half of the download was on the top side, and then the bottom half was like what? the other side. I was like, what's like what is this? Like what? A laser disc? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, All right. Well, that, that's super cool. Future. Yes. So. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you know, Derek has been playing Spellbreak. I, I know you also caught up on the Karate Kid. We talked about that briefly the other week. Oh yeah, I, I, I finished the first season. Yep. Oh, oh my god, that was so good. That was Wait, so good. You haven't watched Surprising. the second season yet? No, I haven't watched the second. Season. Oh man. Okay, okay. Second season. Uh, once, once, once you're caught up on that, I'd love to do a little video on that as well. Hell too. yes, hell yes. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, and I also want to give a shout out, guys, to Human Panda 22 because during Game Bite four days ago, Human Panda gave us his 24th month subscription. It's been two official years straight. 
the human pan has been subscribing to quit stalling so i want to give a huge shout and a, a big round of applause of appreciation Thanks, human panda. things we didn't really get yeah. to during game bite yeah man because oh, you know we're, we're fun fun caring fun. here on the geek cast <laughs> game bite folks are a little <laughs> A little self-obsessed, yeah. you know, those yeah, Game I mean, guys. Here's my opinion on things. All right. Yeah, Human Panda, who who actually played with you? Like Game Bite or, or, oh, or Geek yeah. Cast, you know? That was me and Harold that played with you that one day. I mean, we, you know, we do a big... Dang, and we're not even the game show. <laughs> oh, snap. It's embarrassing. It's Dang. embarrassing. Someone send this to Diego. He's going to lose it. <laughs> oh... Oh, that's so true, though. We love What's you, Human Panda. Thank me. you so much. I can't wait to play more. Like, when we played... What did we play, there? We played Fall Guys with Human Panda, right? Yeah, we did. That was, that was Fall Guys. That was really fun. That, that was, was a great a good time. time. It was HP and... Uh, we had a we had a fourth, right? Was it was it? Friends? I was there. I showed oh, up. Like, yeah, Watcho showed up. Yeah, Watcho showed up. Yeah, yeah. Watcho showed up. Yeah, Watcho was there. Geek cast, man. Yeah, yeah it was. was you know? oh, total experience. Total experience. Total That was so experience. fun. That was super fun. Okay. Uh... We still have to talk about the boys at the end of the show, so let's talk about the news right now. You guys ready? Yeah, let's ready. do it. Let's do it. I can I can literally just tone down the bed music with one finger and then do this with the other. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, oh I see. Good news, everyone. It's the news, and Derek, the news is brought to us by Panels Comic Book Coffee Bar, live and in charge. Check him out in 3D at 713 Mission Ooh. Avenue, Suite A, Oceanside, California. If you're on the West Coast, if you're near LA or any other California city, panels might just be within reach. But Derek, if they are not, where can yes. they find their subscriptions to panels, comic book, coffee bar? You guys can log on to leagueofcomicgeeks.com. Once again, that's leagueofcomicgeeks.com. Make your account real quick and easy, guys. Really use your friendly page. Make sure you choose panels as your store, as the address is still shown there for you guys. Make sure you type that in, add them as your store. Or if you're not living around there, then pick a, another local comic book store. You know, support them as well. Start pulling, and it's it's pretty simple from there. And I, from my experience, panels is really really easy to deal with, guys. I pull my comics. They reach out to me via message. It's like, hey, you want to send these now or later? Want to clip them up? I'm actually getting a good clump of comics on the way and I'm really excited to to read them all and they're yeah it's very quick and they're very great people so definitely log into the website guys if you haven't already it's a great way to get comics books especially through COVID and everything going on right now so yep that's it Excelente Ooh. let's talk about the news people yeah. Dang, and speaking of comics, that's exactly what the news is about today well <laughs> sort of comic tangent because uh, first up we have a new comic book type show coming to HBO Max. It's something Ooh. I've, it's the first time I've heard of this, Peacemaker. I've also <laughs> never heard of this superhero, but it's exciting stuff. It's Peacemaker. It's uh, production starts around 2021. Ooh. It's gonna be directed by James Gunn though. So that's something I'm very excited about. It's they're expanding. I believe he's a character on the next Suicide Squad. So it's something. They're yes, expanding the Suicide Squad universe. Damn. I think I've said this before, but man, you you gotta find someone like DC, man. Like you gotta find someone like how DC looks at the Suicide Squad. Just never gives up on you. Never <laughs> gives up on it. That, that's such a good point. Never. And the fact that they were able to get James Gunn on the on the movie, and now he's kind of like all in. He's interested he's writing and directing some of the episodes he's writing all the episodes and directing some for this peacemaker spin-off which uh, if i'm not mistaken wancho is like his origin story so it's going to be a bit of a prequel to the movie so Ooh, this is cool. actually really really big because this is the first dceu uh universe show you know it's not cw wow. it's not it's not arrows it's this is actually something that ties into the DCEU, which has only been done by Marvel so far, you know, just so Ben, it, it's exciting stuff. Also, I forgot to mention, I just it's because it was complete. I could not see it at all. It stars John Cena. John so. Cena. <laughs> Very interesting. 
Um, it's I'm, I'm I'm also very surprised it's only gonna be on HBO Max. I feel kind of sad for the because I subscribe to the DC streaming service, and there's like no point anymore. Like they moved everything to HBO Max. So, so Carol, that who's mean... that in the picture? I can't see. What's going on? Some. <laughs> It's just a floating gun. That, that's what yeah, it is. That's a floating gun. Damn, that's crazy. Dude, if they do I mean, not the like. <laughs> it says Peacemaker in the background, but it would have been great if they actually showed Peacemaker. I know. I know, right? Come on. What the heck? Come on, guys. Marketing. <laughs> no, but does that mean, Juan, are you, are, do you have any info on this? Like, does that mean that we're uh, having DC Universe folded? Uh, what's it called? DC Universe? The, the streaming service? The DC. Yeah, it's called DC Universe, I think. Like, are just we, like are we the, the... Um, I think that's gonna get canceled soon. I it's just okay. yeah. You know what? Stuff I, I agree with Wancho too. It's weird because they made that, but like the Snyder Cut's going on HBO Max, and this is coming on there too. It's like a lot of their newer stuff are coming on HBO, which is yeah. weird. And everything yeah. that's been on DC Universe is moving to HBO. So like the Harley oh. Quinn series is moving there. Uh, Titans. Uh, oh, I think they're even gonna put Swamp Thing there too, which is heck, that's a canceled thing. It's, it's just they're just putting it there. So it's wow. it's death flags for the DC online streaming service, which is sad because I actually enjoyed it because it was a place to read comics too, and yeah. I love the how if the more you read or the more you watch you get points and you can spend those points to buy like action figures i was like oh i get i'm being lazy but i'm being rewarded for it so i, was, I just thought that was so <laughs> smart but there was yeah, that's, that's no really cool content. there was no content so uh, yeah for me this is this is the nail in the coffin that they're this is going straight to hbo max eight episodes um yeah but it's pretty interesting how why peacemaker you know, I don't, I don't even know who this question. guy is. Is this guy a superhero? Yeah, he's supposedly superhero. a hero in in the comics universe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but he's got kind of like a twisted sense of justice. It's kind of like a the very the boys cost. vibe. Yeah, sort of right. Like it's it's peace at all costs. He doesn't have like the oh. cynical uh, point of view of. Uh, Homelander, where he just does everything for himself. He's still very, right. if I'm not mistaken, like, you know, people first, but in a way that's like, oh, I'll, I'll kill whoever I need to to preserve the peace kind of a guy. So he's like a so Captain America, but with vibe? rage. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, oh, yeah. what do you guys yeah, think it's... about John Cena, though? Like, do you guys, like, I, mean, I don't think I've ever asked you guys this, like, acting career rise. Do you think he's okay or what? The only thing I've ever seen him in is the, the Marine. Oh, you watched the Marine, <laughs> dude. I watched the Marine too. I was gonna say the same thing. You were actually pretty good in that movie, but like a lot of the what? movies I've seen I, I in the movie was so bad, and I was like oh, a really? wrestling freak at the time. Like the only reason why I saw it because John Cena was there, and at, at the time oh. I, I really loved the WWE, and I was like, no, let's go back. Don't act. You know, it's like yeah, it's like the things he's been in lately are like for the memes. You know, like he's in Daddy's Home too. He was like the dad of the daughter. He was in Transformers, right? And it was just like, oh my he's getting gosh, these he weird pop-ups. So, yeah, he was in Bumblebee too. Yeah, he was in Bumblebee. He was like the, it was like a comic relief type thing, but it was kind of awkward. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, you okay. know, he's been acting his whole life technically, so he should be able to. I, that's true. I, you know, now that you mentioned it, I liked him in Trainwreck. That's kind of who he is as an actor so far, where he's kind of like the comic relief. He has that sense of humor that kind of you know just make it's a little adorable in the right situations and he's also he's also in train wreck as a actually no he's in train wreck as kind of like a, a buff dumb dude i'm thinking of lebron james as the adorable comedic <laughs> guy i feel like uh, every everyone from the wwe should be typecast as that type of well, has been typecast as that like type Drax. of actor. You like Drax, like yeah. Drax and yeah. Heck, any any role the Rock sometimes play. Like before he had got serious roles, he was, you know, the lively comedy type actor. You know. Yeah. Uh, and, was, but the was thing his is, movie was he, uh, Sean hmm? William Scott. What was, what was the Rock's movie? the rundown? Like that, that's who the Rock was. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah so man, I remember that. That's the thing. That that's what. So maybe. Uh, Maybe this will be something like that, hopefully, because I feel like it's a peacemaker. It's so weird. It's like, who is this guy? So 
the only way to make him relevant is to make him funny, make him a meme, right? Yeah. Um, that, that's exactly why I didn't like him in the Marine, because the Marine was so serious. You know, he, it didn't fit him. <laughs> yeah. And, and Bimo in the chat is a great point, guys. Uh, Bimo thinks that, okay, so they're probably really confident with the Suicide Squad movie that they're giving a spinoff to I one know, of the characters. That's... Dude, just, yeah, find someone like DC that looks like Oh, you know, I'm not even. I, yeah. Why? <laughs> right? Why? But if James Gunn is producing this, like you said, I'm I'm pretty confident. Yeah, no, he's he's, uh, yeah. he's writing and directing. Because I mean, if you think about it, he wrote the first two Guardians, and Drax was there, so he should be able to handle yeah. John Cena well. Uh, hopefully, that's true. Hopefully, but which I'm yeah, which John Cena are we gonna get? Right? Are we gonna get Dominic Toretto's long lost brother from Fast and the Furious? John Cena, are we? <laughs> which I'm still super confused about because he does Gosh. not look Latin in any way. I think the fast is just trolling. Dude, I want, point, I want, honest. I want it to be the the doctor of thugonomics. That type <laughs> of <John Cena>. <sighs> <sighs> Don't get me the marine. Fast anymore, dude. This... <laughs> okay, okay, well let's move on. Let's move on. Peacemaker, <laughs> yeah. Peacemaker sounds cool. DC has a lot of confidence in Suicide Squad. Let's let's. Uh... I, I think DC is this. They're using Suicide Squad as the bouncing pad for the DC EU now, just because Justice League is too messy. Oh, you think? I agree. I feel like I DC agree. DC is on a roll right now, though. With everything going on lately, dude. They've been doing really well with everything. But ha- they like, haven't put anything out, right? They're, they're doing right, well right. No, that. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but like everything yeah. promotion wise and like things coming out, it looks really good. So they. Yeah. Should not drop the ball right now. They're doing. <laughs> they this is what they've been needing for a while. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And man, do they have to take this take take this opportunity? Because another the, the next piece of news we have is the delay of Black Widow. Oh so, yeah. To May seventh, twenty twenty one. So God. ladies and gentlemen, there is officially no more MCU movies for the year. I believe all we got was. Uh, we didn't get anything. Spider-Man? No, we didn't Spider-Man get anything for 2020. So there were no movies, no movies at all for 2020. Oh, come yeah, on, nothing. DC. This is your chance. They're dropping yeah. the ball. But yeah, um, it was, this was supposed to come out around November 6th this year. And I guess just because of COVID and- Oh yeah, I mean, it was originally supposed to come out They're not very like March, specific right? actually on why they're moving the new the due date, huh? Like I couldn't really find anything. I I money. Yeah. <laughs> don't no, it's that it's probably yeah, you know, it's definitely money. Yeah. Just allow me for a minute to put my conspiracy theorist hat on and just say Mulan? Question mark, question mark. We we talked about this, right? If they were gonna use Mulan as a gauge, even though they were saying they weren't it was the worst gauge. Like no one would open their thirty dollars to Mulan. I would MCU movie Widow, would, would have honest. been a different story. We went over this. Yeah, I know. I would have done that for Black yeah. Widow. Yeah. Yeah. I would have paid thirty bucks to watch Black Widow, especially after the uh, playing the the Avengers game. I watched yes. oh, it. Yes. Oh, I know. I know. Such a badass. Such a badass. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Black Widow movie is pushed back to May 7, twenty twenty one, like Wancho said. Which is one year and six days yeah, after say, the original first, release. Original, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So that's, that's super crazy. And you know, they were they were, they didn't give like a an official announcement right away, like like Fast and the Furious did, to to circle things back to John Cena. Um, with, when the pandemic happened, Universal went straight and said, "No, we're not releasing it now. We're gonna wait one whole year because." They knew, or they know, when their movies hit big. This has been a proven thing for Fast and the Furious. Yeah. They always it's always been it. May. Yeah, it's always been around that time. Yeah. So uh, now Marvel, through no fault of their own, and more of, and I guess Disney, and and more out of necessity for the budget and to make the money back, is pushing is pushing Black Widow back to May seven and. You know, whatever they need to to keep making these movies, right? Because if we lose, if they lose a lot of a lot of money on this movie, that could put them in a position where they can't make a couple more that they that they would have been able to if they didn't make the money. You know, so 
I, I feel like whatever needs to be done to keep getting us more MCU movies, <laughs> please do it. Yeah, see, I, I actually wonder how that works on the on the like budget side. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder if them pushing it back is it actually costing them money? Because I mean, in, in a sense, I get it. Yeah. Like, obviously, they'll make a lot of money if they did it on like Disney Plus or yeah. on any streaming service, right? But obviously, you'll make way more if you're going to the theater because you still have people who love Marvel who don't even use the internet probably. Like even my, my grandparents are a like, perfect example. They just go to the movies and look what's on and then watch. But they okay. like Marvel, they love Marvel, you know? But they don't read comics, they don't go online. So it's like you, you're missing out on that portion of of people who watch movies. I get it, but like yeah. at the same time, you're like, I mean, do you guys really? They must have put a lot of money to the movie then. That, like, that's, that's what I'm thinking is that oh, there's sure. something like must be crazy happening or it's a lot of CGI. <laughs> I imagine seeing that trailer with her flying in the air that was pretty like epic but um yeah i don't know it's just kind of it's crazy it's crazy to think about yeah i'm yeah, saying definitely. i'm saying mulan man it's, it's mulan you, th you think mulan was the main reason they pushed it back yeah 100 percent mulan's fault it is yeah. disney you know the yeah. same company right it's all about the so, bottom line it's all about the bottom yeah. line because uh, sentimentally, you could just say that, okay, it's because she's the first female Avenger, uh, deserves more. But at the end of the day, it's also about the money. And they want to ma make sure they maximize the profit, which is totally fine. They have every right to do that. And if anything, it'll just delay the gratification because people will still go out to watch this. Right. Yeah, it it kind of makes me worried for the 2021 line. Like, like you think it'll be Black Widow happy? is the biggest... No, isn't isn't there only three? What's coming out in twenty twenty one? For uh, Black for Widow, Marvel? yeah, for Marvel, uh, possibly WandaVision, but um, it's, I mean, no, no, no. we're like, not sure. But I think Wanda's we'll talking about like movies, the movies, oh, movies, movies. Um, uh, you're right. Shang Chi well, and the Legend of the Ten Rings and Eternals, right? No yeah, Thor, think... no. Yeah, it's supposed Captain to be Eternals. America. Yeah, you're right. I don't know about Shang Chi exactly. I, mean, I was excited for Shang-Chi. I want to watch that really bad. Uh, Shang-Chi, but... uh, Legend of Ten Rings, July 9, 2021. That's what I'm saying, but okay. those are probably going to get pushed because I think those are like original dates, right? So they might even get pushed further. Oh, yeah, no, no. no Shang-Chi was supposed to be February 12th, so the, the, the oh, July okay. Okay. date is pushed back already. I know Eternals oh, okay, is okay. getting pushed okay. back because it was supposed to be November 6th, but they need to push that back to 2021, and I think they've done it even further. Uh, yeah, but, now wow. Eternals is going to be November November 2021 instead of November 2020. Jeez. So a full year. Everything's going to move back a year is, is what oh, we're wow. getting. Yeah. That's crazy. And, dude, there's, like, besides Black Widow, there's no, yeah, there's no Thor. You're not going to see Thor, no Hulk, no Iron Man, no Captain America, no Guardians of the Galaxy, no big names. It's kind of. Yeah. It's weird. It's, it's kind different. of scary. It's, different. it's kind it's of scary. Yeah. DC, this is this DC's opportunity to catch up. Yeah. yeah. I think Love and Thunder is like the a, last Thor, right? Yeah, they're going to release a Batman movie, a new Justice League movie by that time. Uh, yeah. It's a Suicide yeah. Squad. Like, those are big guns. Those are big guns. You, you know what would be funny, so, though? Watch out. DC's, yeah, DC's going to be putting a, you know, if they do kind of like rush things and. and Kind of try and capitalize on this and then like falcon and winter soldier and one division like hit big on streaming and, and the shift goes to streaming oh, that's true. and they have no Ooh, ammo yikes, for streaming, that's true. right yikes yes yeah, true we'll see we'll see that's all just conjecture that's pure I conjecture mean, dc had watchmen watchmen was yeah. pretty good and they're about to that get good. this guy the we literally just saw the peacemaker a peacemaker <laughs> And Wonder Baker. Woman was good too. I liked Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was what did great. I felt. Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Uh, uh. <laughs> 80, 84, 82. Oh, that, is that that's coming out this year, right, or next year? Uh, I think it also got pushed back. Year. Year. Wonder Woman yeah. eighty four. I'm excited for watching that too. But yeah, oh, but DC, yeah. and I, I've always this, liked. I like DC stories way better than Marvels, so. I'm excited. Like, I, I really, there's so many, there's so much good content they could do, you know, and they just need to take their time. And, but they're doing good. You're talking right about now, like so the, the source stories, right? Not the, not the movie yes. stories. 
Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> but yeah, sword stories. Story, like I've always yeah. been like a DC. Like, dude, their stories are so good. Um, yeah. I've, I've personally like Marvel's characters more, but like DC's always had the better stories for me. Yeah. Oh, and Bemo, Bemo has a good point. I just looked it up as well. Wonder Woman got pushed back from October two to now December twenty five this year. Yeah. So we we Christmas. could still get it this year. Let's see. Uh, but so like within two years, like. Those are big names, dude. Yeah. DC is. Oh, yeah. Let's go, DC. I mean, heck, they, they just came off Watchmen, which was great, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Dude, not going to lie, the best one of the best DC movies I've ever watched is going to be Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Just saying. Give, give it a I chance. It good. It's hilarious. It's on Netflix. It's. It was really, really good. I was laughing. I was laughing so hard. And now Aiden was there watching with me too. And oh, that's good. That's awesome. That was, that was so funny. I love that. I love that movie. I, got, I watched it twice already. I don't have it here. I'm so sad. You, I wish I, I want to watch it so bad. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's like, they're, because they know they're self aware that movie. Yeah. It's, it, <laughs> Dude, it was Deadpool. It was Deadpool. We're talking about the characters, right? The, the characters in the show them itself, very self-aware. The, the, the style of the show was Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Teen Titans Go. Self-aware, you know? breaking fourth wall type stuff. Really funny. I, I was, I was dying. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So, uh, let's zoom through the rest of the news because we want to get to the boys here, right? Like we want to, we want to get to it kind of quick. So let's zoom through the rest of the news because you know, these are these are bits and pieces. Let's, let's let's get through them, super quick. All right, since we're talking about Marvel, uh, Bat Rock the Leaper, played by George Rush Saint Pierre, uh, is going to be making a return to the MCU. He'll be in the Falcon, in the the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Plus TV show. Uh, he was in we're the not Winter sure Soldier gonna... movie, right? Yeah, he was in the Winter Soldier movie at the very start. He yeah, was okay, uh, on the it. ship uh, with with Cap. Uh, he was he was the primary villain there, taking hostage of what we now know was a Hydra-ish operation. And Batroc. yeah, Bat- Batroc went from super ridiculous villain. He's literally called the Leaper because he jumped good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they made him super badass with with GSP and kind of grounded his fighting style and and made it. Made it make more sense, and you know, GSP is an absolute champ. So yeah, he's he's making a return, and on the set of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we got a a couple more looks at Sebastian Stan. Let me let me, let me see if I can zoom in on this real quick. Uh, in his sort of new getup, short hair, Bucky, with a leather. You know, yeah, it's so hard to get a close look at this. He's got leather looks on. Buck wild, man. He does look buck wild, sensei. All right. <laughs> Looks pretty badass. We've been getting a lot of shots of, of the onset stuff, a lot of leaks. But instead of degrading the quality, I feel like it's just building more hype. So I feel like this is good plays. I, I, I like. I like. I, you, you guys see this oh, stuff? Sebastian Stan. So I think I, I like had to. He's, he's oh, a good actor. Sorry. I like that guy. Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. How about you, Wancho? You, you, uh, you like what you see so far? Oh yeah, I mean, just more. Wait, sorry, we're, we're talking about Sebastian Stan, right? Young Luke and, and the whole young like Luke. MCU. Young Luke, <laughs> yeah, young Luke, right? So, I you know, like I, I, this photo really makes me think of Luke in Return of the Jedi. I'm I mean, just Sebastian saying. Sebastian Hamill. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that clip. I still love that clip where he calls Mark Hamill his dad. I know. Right? But no, look, look at this. That rock is look. pretty exciting. Okay, Bat- yeah, Batrock <laughs> is exciting. Batrock Bat is pretty exciting, just because that, that that was probably the best fight of that, uh, that that movie, to be honest. Like that was pretty hype. Underrated fight scene yeah. because it was at the very start it was kind of dark, but yeah, like it it was yeah. even Cap got a lot of you know parts to shine in that one fight, and I feel like it needs to be said a little more on the internet, you know? It was, it was a super cool fight. Uh, going back real quick, guys, Sebastian Stan, me, here, in the leather, reminds me of a young Luke Skywalker. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. He just has All like right. that Jedi face too, dude. He just like, you know, he, he, he yeah. I've had this like thought with myself weirdly when I'm like sleeping. I'm like, which is like an actor that has like a good Jedi face? Sebastian Stan. Just yeah, resting top one. Jedi face. Yeah. <laughs> RJF. Resting RJF, Jedi face. Dude, I love it. Resting <laughs> Jedi face, dude. I love it. He's just got that RJF going, you know? He's got it. That's, that's, that's the man right there. Oh, for sure. I'm excited for the I just, you know, honestly. Uh, comics wise, I didn't really like Captain America so much, but like after Chris yeah. Evans played the role, you kind of like, you know, you appreciate it, or at least I did. I was like, yeah. man, I really like, like Chris Evans played it so well, I wouldn't have chose anybody else. Um, and yeah. I, I like that they're kind of continuing it and it's yeah. cool because I really like Bucky in the storyline and I like, like Winter Soldier, I still would say it's probably one of my top favorite Marvel movies. I just really mm -hmm. liked it a lot. Um, so I'm really happy. I can't wait. I just really want this stuff is supposed to be out already. You know, it's like yeah. probably, we should yeah. be reviewing this right now. Just, just real, real quick on that. I actually thought, um, it's, it's, sorry, what was his name? But Chris Evans was a weird pick for Captain America back in back in the day. Obviously, oh, yeah. really? I thought yeah. he was a weird pick because um, Captain America was always the grandpa type or father figure in yeah. the MC. Oh. Um, and in they made Marvel him sexy. Or whatnot. And then they made him like, yeah. They made him daddy. <laughs> <laughs> they made grandpa into daddy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and they still made it comfy enough to call him. No, yeah. Yeah, to yeah, do the jokes grandpa, like grandpa. Right? Yeah, right? yeah, like yeah, yeah. Tony Stark would still call him like grandpa or old man. Like there'd yeah, still right, be yeah. those references and the, when, when he did when the old. whole language thing. Yeah, that there we go. Yeah. Uh, he is daddy, or no, he is grandpa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah Wancho. Yeah, just let it out. Just let it out, bud. <laughs> okay, uh, view of the chat says, I wonder if Netflix execs are going to get pirated by other production companies because they've managed to keep budgets despite. Uh, budgets profitable despite only getting money from streaming their movies you know uh we mm. as as sort of not as good as we wanted it to be old guard was you know there's no doubt that it was successful budget wise like they probably didn't have to spend that much on on that grounded camera work a lot of shaking heads going on a lot of a lot of doubt here yeah <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's actually not a not a bad question. Question in terms of like Netflix execs and people looking to hire them for for budget reasons because you know if you want to keep you know things moving that smoothly in a company and your current guys aren't doing it, you look for the people that are making it happen, right? If you have the money to to headhunt. And, and poach, you look for the people who are making it happen. If you have a clothing company that's yeah. on the rise and you need people to keep it profitable, you look at Nike, you look at the companies that are doing well, right? So yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad point. That's not a, yeah. that's not a bad point at all. Uh, but moving on, you know, we're, we're gonna burn through the rest of this news. This, this, this mural, this tribute in downtown Disney in Anaheim, California, of Chadwick Boseman Beautiful. as the Black Panther is so good. I know this is like 50% Disney capitalizing on our emotions, but at this point, I don't really mind. Yeah, because it's, it's they did it. So they, nice. they did it right, at least. Right? Yeah, they did it. Yeah, they did it perfect. I love it. Yeah, that was good. The reveal was nice, too. Oh, jeez. Man, I, it's just the tributes. It hit, it hit me hard, man. It's just, it's so sad. He's so young. I mean, a lot of people that this 2020 in general, it's just been a sad year. Like it's lost too many people, man. But I'm, I'm happy that you know, at least when you go there, you can see this now. You know, it's ah, oh, man, the image is just strong in itself too, man. It's just you know, Chadwick's done a lot of stuff for, for people too, just like visiting and 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 kids like in need. And dude, it's it's great to see that. At least you know they respect it. For it's sure. Awesome. For sure. Um. I, I don't think this has been really pointed out, uh, and I don't I don't mean to make light of, of this because this is absolutely fantastic. The the artist who we see prominently in these photos, Nicholas Smith, deserves a ton of credit for how great it looks. Uh, yeah, there, there he is holding his son. But I feel like the Wakandan salute is the perfect greeting in our current times. I know a lot of people might think it's cheesy. But there's oh, no wow. better You're way to one right. 
honor the impact of someone like Chadwick Boseman right. on pop culture and to stay safe, right? Like, why aren't we using... I know it might feel a little cheesy because it was super overused when it first came out, but moving forward, if we can slowly integrate this, it's not the worst thing. Why don't why yep. don't we use the Wakanda salute? Because yeah, when I was working, so I had other. two coworkers that that was my greeting to them, and it felt really cool to do it, and also very yeah. nerdy. But like, <laughs> it felt really cool though. It's just like it was like feel like so like badass, you know? Yeah, it's the yeah. perfect time for geek <laughs> salute. Whether it's the Vulcan hand salute. But or, you're right, or, though. Or there's a perfect greeting off. for COVID, dude. That's like totally, totally, totally true, dude. Yeah. Right. It, it even just looks like, don't touch me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yes, like, ooh, ooh. Don't, don't, don't touch know. me forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of forever, but no, right? Like, I don't mean to make too much light of it, but, you know, if I, w- I would start doing that with you guys, you know? And when it, when it is time to be able to do face-to-face interaction just modify it and do do what he did with sure you know hand slap and then the salute yeah that's a good one yeah yeah that's right? a good one too <laughs> right i'm down for Feels this good. let's make it happen let's make it happen okay uh mandalorian season two trailer out for those of you who haven't seen it yet uh we gotta look at sasha banks wwe wrestler uh in the background in a hood uh, supposedly i think i saw the rumor that she's she might be a jedi uh, we don't get a look at Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka yet, or any of the other bigger names that were mentioned playing certain characters. But yeah, we we, we get more Din Djarin. Din Djarin? I forgot how to pronounce his name. Jar Jar, Jar Binks. Uh, we we get to see a lot of baby Yoda, super super adorable, fifty year old baby, and we get more. Uh, oh, there we see Sasha on the screen right now. Yeah, we actually, I nice like the theory. Look. Have you heard of the theory about Sasha being, um, what's her name, from uh, Clone Wars? Because, you know, she was close with the Jedi, so, like, he was leading... It, uh, God, what's her name? Why don't you help me, please? Um, the girl Mandalorian. Not... Yeah. Oh, Bo-Katan? Um, yes. Oh. I, I don't know. Not, I heard not, something wait, else. Wait, not Bo. It's I heard, else. I heard she was going to be Sabine. Sabine. That's why I say specifically. Ooh. Sabine. Sabine. That's and what I meant. I'm sorry. Rebels, not... Clone Wars. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't. That really like that. threw me off. That. <laughs> right when you said that, I was like, okay, wait, it's Rebels. But dude, like, okay. I mean, she yeah. knew. Some that's why they covered her her hair. Uh, yeah. and she was a little force sensitive in the show. Okay. So, yeah. I'd be down so for I that. I like that. She could lead the, you know, the, into there. So. Yeah. The only the only issue yeah, I, I have is Ahsoka showing up, right? Oh, what's that, Wancho? No, no, if Ahsoka is showing up, doesn't it make sense? Sabine to Sabine? show up? Yeah, yeah, yeah right? would. Together right? right now? I don't know. I've, I, timeline-wise, not so fair. But, I mean, they, well, they could last be... last time we saw them both was together. Yeah, they could be on, you know, fresh back from the hunt looking for Ezra. Or they could need mm-hmm. Din to look for Ezra. Mm-hmm. A little, a little mm-hmm. Mandalorian help. I'd be down for this. Um... I, I was gonna say the only issue I have with Sasha Banks as an actress is sometimes she slurs her words, which is not gonna be an issue because it's not a live, uh, you know, she, she's not doing live promos off the cuff, so they can have multiple takes of her. I just because like Sabine has been really eloquent when she talks, right? Despite her background of you know being on the streets after for, sort of forsaking her Mandalorian tribe, uh, I, I just I just want the dialogue to be crisp because that's kind of Sabine is very assured of herself even in the moments where she's doubting uh you know her her mo- her own motives she's still very firm when she speaks so that, I just hope that doesn't get lost with Sasha Banks yeah um yeah just while we're talking about the Mandalorian though have you guys heard the the, the weird rumor about Pedro Pascal no no uh-huh. that he left the Mandalorian no no it, apparently this there was is like not a lot the of, way there was a lot of heat in in set or something that this is rumors this is rumors not facts i could be fake news but this is what i've been seeing on the internet you could be fake news you gotta be um, yeah careful. there's like a lot of heat on I set hope so. i hope that's and not the way from now on he's because he's just going to be doing voice acting so he's no longer okay. physically gonna be there Something, okay, something I mean, like wouldn't that. Wouldn't be the like, worst he thing. He literally walked out. Yeah. 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 We saw his okay. face already. We don't need to see it again. I mean, I look. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, 
he's Pogi Pasquale for me still, but you know, still, it, it's fine. Um, I'm happy at least he's not like leaving, leaving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he still does the voice and maybe comes back for the occasional face shot, okay. Yeah, but yeah. It would. It, it also felt kind of not the worst thing to never see his face again because like seeing his face was yeah. like, oh, do we have to like? Part of the the mystery of never seeing his face was really cool, and then they yeah, kind of showed it true. in the first season. So I wouldn't mind if they kind of kept his helmet on the rest of the way. I don't mind. I'm so excited uh, for this man. I mean, Don, Dave and John, just those are the Star Wars guys for me forever. Yeah, <laughs> uh, John Favreau Dave and, uh, and John Dave Favreau, Filoni. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Dave and John. Those that's the Star Wars combo we we all need and always will need. Yeah, man, <laughs> for sure. These, these guys are you know doing so well with this. Uh, so so much to the point that I know Derek. Every time Kathleen Kennedy speaks in the behind the scenes, he just goes shut up. <laughs> you know, like, I, that's so funny. I, I can't believe it. that. I can't believe I, I recorded that. I felt so stupid. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, like, oh shut up. Yeah, I was like, God. It's just. Uh, and she has that like you know. It's like that little smirk she has like you know like yeah. Ah, I can't even. Uh. <laughs> Okay, we'll move on. Then. We'll move on from one space adventure to another. Uh, we got the final trailer, the official trailer for Dune, uh, starring Timothy Chalamet. Uh, Tim- Timothy Ch- Chalamet, and uh, you know we-, we see Thanos himself, Josh Brolin in the action. We see Dave Cable, Bautista. Man, come on, Cable. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Cable. Uh, we see uh, Poe, Poe Dameron's actor. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna uh, say that too. <laughs> in another sci-fi franchise again. Uh, gosh dang I, I was gonna say his name and then I wanted to say Poe Dameron first and I forget his real name uh, Oscar Isaac Oscar Isaac Oscar Isaac yeah uh, we see Jason Momoa being the imposing figure that he is so great great trailer a lot of big names in here yeah yeah I can't wait to see the movie I never saw the original Dune I never read any of the books or played the game yeah you know I was gonna say that I, a lot of people that are on my feed been hyping this I'm not too familiar with this so uh, that maybe it, you guys might have known something. It's a big the franchise. Time. There's the okay. Dune is a, has a big fan base. It's something I've always been meaning to get into. It's just okay. Yeah, I want to know is like the ambiance. Like, what kind of like is it? No, is it like fantasy just... or like sci-fi or? It's like sci-fi. Is it sci-fi okay. fantasy or just sci-fi? Yeah. I'm not too. I'm not too sure. I think it's like sci-fi with some fantasy, I guess. But. Okay. Yeah, not too familiar with because I try. I, I've been. It's one of the things where you know it's one of the books you had your meaning to read, but you, I just never got to read. Hopefully, if this, the movie's like great, I actually start getting into the books. Probably. Same. Actually, yeah, I mean, yeah, it has a huge fan base. Definitely. Like. Oh uh, yeah. Everything. Oh, like, like almost every sci-fi thing is compared to Dune. Or something like that. It's like it's always oh. there in a comparison. You know. Yeah. I'm about to talk to my grandmother about this. She might have read it, possibly. I see if maybe she thinks it's good. But yeah, a lot of huge names in here, man. So it's, it's, it's I assume that it's like Monster's had a huge fan base. It looks really cool. I saw the trailer too, and I was like, you know what? I don't even know the franchise. And it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it does look super good. So yeah, hopefully it does turn out great. It, it I forget if it, if there's a release date in the trailer. Oh, no, no, there's none. So we're still kind of waiting on when it'll it'll show because it says only in theaters. Uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the that's end. the new norm coming yeah. soon. <laughs> so we'll see. Or seventy we'll see. seventy, right? Yeah. Batman. Um. So we have that trailer. It looks great. Uh, Bimo in the chat earlier said that maybe uh, Pedro Pascal wanted to just decrease contact with people because of COVID. Yeah, maybe we're not getting the full story, and that's that's the main reason why. That, that's so, a good we'll idea. That, I mean, a good um, a good perspective. I've seen mean, people. Also, it's just rumors. Just rumors again, I could be fake news. That. I could be fake news. Just those are just rumors. You know, I know, some people though too are very strong about like not seeing people and wearing masks. I've seen, like I said, regular people get really into it about it. So, it could be one of those. Maybe if if that yeah. is the truth, you know, maybe that's hopefully that's what it is. Yeah, for sure. So we'll see. We'll see. It's 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 a developing story. And we'll, we'll be sure to keep our eyes out on it for the coming weeks. And, and we'll see, watch. boys. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Uh, in our last bit of news, before we talk about the boys, Time Zone Philippines, guys, not doing so hot in the age of COVID. And uh, oh, they're, no. they're going to be selling a lot of their arcade machines. So 
if some of you are you know people yeah, who are nostalgic so for cool. games like initial d or drum mania which we talked about on a uh, game bite last week now might be the time for you to you know to, to, so is to your stream the- set up here gonna get a little bit bigger now i'm assuming no, I, 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 I am a shot, DDR uh, <laughs> fanatic. No. DDR on stream, do you do it? <laughs> don't you know, don't you know? Don't you know. That's really no. cool. Though. Are, are, are any of you planning to get one? Uh, no. No. Um, I'm surprised. <laughs> you know, I thought you not. would definitely get like like Initial D or something. No? Dude, Initial D would be tempting. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Initial D <laughs> would be so tempting. To just tofu drift my way around Dude, the. If yeah. they had, if they have the, I really in my life, if I ever get rich, I really want the Star Wars. Like you're in a Tie Fighter. It's literally like the the game is like a giant, like the the cockpit. And dude, every time I, I go to arcade, I feel like a little kid. I look stupid, but I feel so cool in there. You just like move with the stuff. Yes. Even the pod yes. racing ones, dude. Before. Oh, I would totally yeah. get that, dude. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I, I feel bad because when I when I when I heard about this time zone thing, what immediately came to mind was I want to buy you know that the spinning lights thing and just try and get the uh, get it at the ticket at the jackpot. Oh, just practice for like oh, <laughs> no. Man. It's just oh. as a kid, I whenever I went to the arcade, I was in it for economy, man. I, I'd only play the games that could give me so many tickets. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, man. You're the high Playing money so, ball like, That was my game. favorite one. The... <laughs> no, Wancho, you know what? You need to get one because Aiden needs to know the real history of gaming, dude. Oh, dang. You know, just got to get one game. Even if it's like the cheapest dude, thing there. <laughs> you'd be surprised at like what Aiden knows now. He knows every character that appears in Smash. And like oh, wow, and I tell him the good. story that's about good. oh what what is this guy I'm like then I tell him the story and it's just like a little story time. There you go. I like it. Oh, I sick. like it. <laughs> Game that's appreciation. Awesome. <laughs> Jack yeah. voice or Jack Black voice. <laughs> Game appreciation uh, and, and theory. <laughs> and the- uh, Safi's out on the chat, guys. Sam says time to build that man cave. Watch it. You got some room in there. And Derek, you, go. That you know, why not check your local arcade franchise, right? You never know. Yeah, they're so expensive here. I've, I've looked into it a couple times, a couple thousand bucks, but Yikes. enticing, man. If I see that Star Wars one, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to eye that, dude, if, if ever. Yeah. I would Christmas totally is coming just... up, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, dude? Honestly, like with how games are evolving now, I wouldn't be surprised if like VR takes the next step in a couple years and it just gets way better. Oh, I'm just yeah. really impressed with the VR too, how it is so far. Yeah. It's like early, you know. So exciting time to be alive, everybody. Most deaf. All right, guys. Now, probably not right now, to, to be honest. Oh. Well, actually, yeah, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now Pre-tweet. it's time to talk about the boys. I believe, I believe so, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, let's get to it. Let's talk about our episode recap. No, that's not the button. That's not the button. No, that's not it. Ow, I swear, ow, I, I swear, ow, I mapped it. Ow, ow. <laughs> Is it? That's, Guys, this never happens. This never happens. This never happens. Yeah, we all we always plan things right. I don't I don't know why. It's, oh, it's it's air. The soundboard's airing. It just closed on me. Uh, I thought I they smelled that. bad on the outside. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the boys. Yeah. Let's talk about the boys. Okay. Spoiler warning, by the way. I oh, think yes. Guys. Holy spoiler alert! That played. That played. Okay. <laughs> spoiler alert, guys. Spoiler. Alert. We're talking about them boys today. Okay, Derek, take us through uh, the past three episodes. Give us a little. Uh, what were your highlights? What were your key points? Uh, focal, okay, highlights focal. is that Starlight. You know, they they got the V out, um, and I'm excited. I actually, it was kind of a, what's the word? Anticlimactic, I guess. You know, I I thought like the end game was like once they got the V out to the public, it was gonna like be the end of them. But you know, it, it's not really that. You can see that like in these next three episodes that they're actually kind of realizing that nothing's really going on you know but i do like i'm happy that starlight is kind of with the crew now 
or she's he's starting to get there. That's a little bit more in episode six, but um, before that, you have the deep. I'm love. I'm loving these deep things, dude. It's like at first, man, I hated this guy. Oh, this guy is such a dick, but he's 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 atoning. You know, I don't know if he can really atone fully, but he's trying, and I'll give him props for trying. He got married. Thought that was pretty awesome, um, but you can still see his uh, you know, his inner uh, self. Still trying to pick the lustful side, but you can tell he's trying to change. So that's that was pretty cool. A train is slowing down bad, and he's he got kicked out. That was definitely a highlight for me. Um, Maeve was getting man, she, Maeve is getting manipulated like crazy. But I I love the direction they're taking her and Lena. I believe are trying to uh, you know work together and overthrow Homelander. I liked this because I was I kind of was hoping for maybe they down the line they kind of share their thoughts with like. Huey and Butcher, and maybe they kind of team up, but um, yeah, definitely. But we'll we'll, we'll kind of see. Um, kind of in newer highlights for me, Chip got out for Starlight. Thought that was awesome. Uh, she's definitely oh, she's, chip, she's like working the, her way. The tracker chip, the the tracker chip, yeah, all excuse me. Yes. With, uh, yeah, is it at birth? I forget. I forget if it. No, I think birth, it birth, is birth. at birth. Or no, no, no. I I don't think it's at birth. I think it's when she joined the Seven, right? I think they just. Okay. I, I can't remember. Um chat might know better than i do but i thought she just kind of got pricked or like chipped when she first joined but i, I could be wrong i'm not really okay. sure um i definitely um like i mentioned on the pre-show and i can kind of elaborate it now i felt like episode six was the most like the best episode so far just because you got backstory in this you got awesome action in this you got new characters in this um new events happening and you also have like a cool heist type of thing going on i thought this was yeah. a crazy episode the last one also want to point out i thought it was hilarious that bobby is not iceman anymore he's lamplighter i thought that was a lit i don't know i thought that was funny to me like i love that guy growing up as iceman and like hit me pull the lighter out i go what he's like the other guy so, so for those of you who haven't <laughs> seen uh the boys we're talking about sean ashmore who played uh iceman Shiny in the Boy. x-men series De Derek jumping the gun a little bit there just uh oh yeah for sorry. the people who yeah for the, <laughs> no, it's okay for the people who uh either haven't seen the episode why why even listening to this check out the episode now uh but for yes, the people who have yeah so good we're, we're referencing uh the guy who plays lamplighter on the boys uh who used to play uh, Bob, Bobby, in uh, okay. in the X Men franchise. Well, he started in X Two, right? Was it X One? Yes. I um, he might have been in X One for briefly. I can't remember okay. if the ice ball like greeting was in two or one. Okay. Like I'm Bobby. Oh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll Jerome, it out. You know, I'm Bobby. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, um, it was X Two. You're right. Yeah. It was X Two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh yeah. Another. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. No, so, you know, since we're on Lamplighter real quick, I, the depth, man, the surprising amount of depth we got with that guy. I thought he was going to be another sociopathic hero like uh, Homelander, who just had no remorse for his actions. But the, the layer they added to him, especially after sort of initially revealing him, watch, I see you nodding, I guess, initially revealing him to be working in that uh, Compound V facility, Working right. on those like like meta human people, so it was it was interesting because again I was caught off guard. I did not think that he would be the remorseful type. All I thought of was this guy is just in it for himself uh, because it's what we've seen, right? Whether it's from <laughs> Stormfront or Homelander, burn. yeah. So yeah, watch. Yeah, what like did you think about? Yeah, what, what did you think about? Seeing? Oh yeah. Um, the this is exactly why I said the the show is leaps and bounds over the comic is because in the comic, they don't really do character development, like oh. at all. Like even even Huey, I guess, goes through some, but that's pretty much it. And oh, sorry, Huey and Starlight are probably the only ones. Like the Deep is a throwaway character in the comic. Wow. Um, wow. Lamplighter is a throwaway character in the comic, so. Like oh, he's important ish, but he has no character really. Yeah, yeah. Well so he's... Wow. Okay, so we're getting way more lamplighter here than we ever have oh, elsewhere, yeah. is what you're saying. I think he's spoken more here than in the comic already. Dang. Wow. That's crazy. That's super cool. And his lines like we like we've mentioned aren't throwaway either. Like these are you know, this is fleshing out 
not just his backstory, but Frenchie's backstory. We're, we're, uh, we're fleshing out the Colonel's. She's the Colonel, right? The the person that the boys are yeah, working Colonel. Toward. She's a Colonel. Yeah. Yeah, she's a Colonel. Uh, yeah, we, we see more depth with them, especially at the very end where uh, Lamplighter just wants things to end. He's tormenting himself and he's kind of just trying to get by. But we find out he himself is is not immune to to guilt he's super guilt ridden about what he's done which is burn children alive burn the colonel's children alive and we find out it's because he thought it was supposed to be he thought it was her he was supposed oh, yeah. to kill um, her i actually mm-hmm. think that's a problem i don't know okay like because this is like how the show has been going i i, I love the show but it's, it's kind of going against what the writer intended with a lot of these characters Ooh, oh, grandchildren. Thank you, Bimo. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Walter, keep going. I, I don't know, like, I, I haven't done my research, but I don't know, like, I want to know how the original author of The Boys feels about what's happening to the characters. Because yeah. in The Boys, like, evil is evil. You know, uh, like, okay. what happened to Starlight, just, it happened. You yeah, know? yeah. There's no redemption for for the D. For the D, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just made up. There's no redemption for, for A-Train. He just he, that's just what he did that's what happens when you have power um lamp lighters straight up burns those kids just because he can not because oh, wow. by accident so it's like it's changing a lot of things heck even uh you kind of feel for homelander too and homelanders you're <laughs> yeah. not redeemable at all and like at all but you kind of feel for him sometimes like he oh yeah i agree issues. i definitely agree so there too. it kind of goes it's kind of going against what the author originally how intended, he was brought but, up you know too it's just but, he's like a lab rat like legit you know yeah. it, it makes sense he's mad at the world yeah so it's it's kind of weird so it's it's, it's like i li- like it i love i really really like the boys but i kind of feel for the author i feel like this might be another watchman type thing you know? oh okay we're kind <laughs> of str- but the thing is you know in certain cases, not like like you mentioned, a different perspective enhances the overall story. Yeah. Uh, Alan Moore, when he first came up with The Watchmen, did not have what we have now in terms of a global perspective, right? Like, the internet has changed the game for everyone in terms of being more empathetic towards other people, races, cultures, all that. So being more aware of, okay, the world isn't black and white, you know. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. So, in in the Watchmen perspective, that's 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 my that's my take. In terms of the boys, I do kind of feel f- what, what you're saying. Uh, and so far, the show's done a great job of kind of giving us Making a better. It popular. Yeah. Giving it, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Like, I I really do want to know what the author thinks and I honestly just think Alan Moore is some crazy wizard right <laughs> that's really what he is he's a crazy wizard who we cannot begin to imagine what he feels in the world so <laughs> <laughs> okay circling back to the boys uh you know we like we talked about we have three whole episodes that we kind of yeah, we were talking about three episodes yeah, the other highlight to too about... we got to mention about yeah, the Vought history was brought up, and yeah. that uh, Stormfront is like old. Yeah, right? Stormfront She's is like the old. first, the first superhero technically from what we've, the information we have hey so far, right? The show yeah. was called The Boys, and so far all you've got, all, all you've talked about is Vought. So many things happened to uh, the boys. That's true. The first three that's episodes, um, Huey and. Butch get back together. They have a fight. They get back together. You're my rock or whatever. Canary, um, he's you. Yeah, and, and, and we do <laughs> see uh, a lot of the butchers, uh, Billy Butcher's backstory and why he's so yeah. unsure of, of Huey, but at the same time kind of protective of Huey's because he had a brother um, that was yeah. that had the similar role in his own life. Yo, know, we we find out a lot Twice about Frenchie. He makes an appearance finally. Sorry, who? Do for Butcher? The wifey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The wife. Becca, Becca, the, yeah, Becca. Becca, yeah. That's who huge. refuses to. And Becca's, al- yeah. Becca's alive and like, like, she was, she was so close. I don't know if that was the first three episodes. Sorry. No, I think it was right. First three episodes. 
He was so close. Yeah, to that was for me. No, 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 sorry, no, 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 no. So, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> but he he was able to see his wife, and he has like this little the the Chili's playmat or whatever placemat where he wrote down all the stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. What, what, what restaurant was that? That was like that wasn't a Chili's though. But yeah, yeah, not not important. It wasn't a Chili's. It was like yeah, some. Yeah. It was one of those it was like some, somewhere in Texas. Yeah, like a lot of stuff happened to the boys. Uh, Frenchie, the dude. woman's. Oh, Frenchie. Frenchie had Frenchie's... a backstory. Yeah. Was that wasn't that later in the? That, that was like this yeah, episode. That was that was that was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. So, the the woman, the the girl, I forgot what what she's called in the show. Kimiko. She's just yeah. called the woman. Moncure. Kim, Moncure. Yeah, Kimiko. <laughs> Her <laughs> brother. That's like that's a huge thing. That he was the terrorist. The, yeah, the, and we we get more about the the dawn, whatever the the church of the sunlight. Dawn. Wait, was that episode? Is that after episode three? Am I like just losing my? No, mind? that was the first three. That was the first. Like, three. Okay, I was like episode was three like... was where they were on the boat, already, right? So they, okay, they, yeah, they already fle- right. fleshed out the whole like. Yeah, she has a sign language that only he can understand. Yeah, like, so and many French things. Super pissed to about that. Boys. Yeah, yeah French is like, I want you to teach me. Yeah, yeah you like that. Yeah. You know. He wants in. Oh, Frenchie is my, my favorite character in the show. It's just oh he's, really, yeah. dude. He he came out of nowhere, right? He's he's shown so much more uh, likable traits since yeah, the first he, season. He, he's literally just called the Frenchman, you know. But then you're like, <laughs> you no, know, he he has a lot of back. He's, he was willing to die for this random girl too. It's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he has my favorite backstory so far, and just. Overall asked, personality, really. I like him. Yeah. He's like, and he's like the chemist of the group. You know, he's like. You relate to that part the most, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can subdue uh, these heroes. G- give me like 30 seconds and all these chemicals. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> it didn't work. Though. Carol, do you have a favorite so far? Uh, The ensemble for me as a whole is I, I can't pick one because. You you get uh, and it it makes more sense as you watch it because as different as each of these people are, they're quite important to each other's stories. You know, <laughs> uh, Lamplighter, whose so uh, whose sole purpose was supposedly just to be this foil for the for Frenchie's backstory, ends up being this character full of depth and uh, is also just pain, just in pain, yeah. Yeah, and, and is also a huge, uh, you know, factor in the colonel's life, who I, up until this point, I just thought was untouchable. And, right. you know, now we know that, okay, the, you know, Vought probably knew about her because of, you know, the, the mission for Lamplighter to kill her. You know, there, there's so much. And, you know, we think, okay, Stormfront is... Maybe a little older. Turns out she's a hell of a lot older, uh, <laughs> and hella racist because she's a Nazi. And how does she feel about she's Giancarlo Esposito's character being, uh, you know, black black Latino and being her boss in Vought? Like, how did that happen? Because her husband was the Vought, you know, the Doctor right. Vought. So right. how did that happen? Like, there's a lot of these subtext and. Uh, different layers that really enhance things. You know, she she finds Homelander attractive because he's super Aryan, but at the same time, <laughs> is she just manipulating him? You know, this guy is a huge man child. Like, I mean, it's the that uh, sorry, but so Homelander is pretty much the goal of what the Nazis want. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a blonde like, Superman, like yeah. blonde, blue eyed, blonde Superman. Superman. Yeah. 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 The Ubermensch. So, for me, like I, I, I know we. Will, yeah. I know the question was who's my favorite, but like I feel like that's, that's so that's so tough it's for me because yeah. without one or the other, uh, things start to fall apart in, in my <laughs> in my point of view. And you know when we when we eventually lose whoever in terms of right. like a fight Dude, or I, yeah. I agree with you so strongly, like one hundred percent. Like so, like, like the the characters play off. Each- Play off each other so well like butcher becomes more badass because he's always next to huey who isn't badass and then <laughs> you know it, it, it kind of makes him even more 
And then when Huey steps up, since he's next to Butcher and he gets to do something to Butcher, it kind of makes you all respect him more. Like, yeah, yeah. They need each other. Really, really, really do. Like, yeah. I mean, as a cast to, to work, and that, that's kind of amazing. Uh, yeah. What about you, Derek? Who is your favorite? Oh, I, I easily would choose Black Noir. I don't know why. I just decided Black oh, I love Black Noir, dude. I love Black Noir, dude. He's like, he's like the unspoken hero for me. I mean, he's just like, you know, just like a soldier for bot. Yeah, it's just like, oh, dude, I actually, I think that was episode four where he fought Butcher, right? Um, I actually thought he might have, like, I was really hoping he went there to just talk to him and be like, hey, I want to join you, you know? But, like, oh, yeah. Ever since that, ever since that episode where they that was released episode five, the v, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. When he did the V and he's just like rocking and he's so sad. I'm like, man, I'm like Black Noir. I feel bad for him, dude. He doesn't even talk. Oh, D- um, Derek's talking about when the, uh, when, Starlight released Compound V and it was all yeah. over the news and we cut to Black Noir kind of rocking in the hallway just you know just in distraught yeah, over the I history. I felt very bad for him. I think I like him because he's so mysterious that it's like I don't know a lot about him but he's also pretty cool. He's kind of like the like the Batman I, I guess of the series right? He's very very, very hard and... to not spoil you right now. Like I would love to tell you the, the Black Noir backstory. Yeah oh, don't, don't spoil us because it I've, might change. I have, I yeah, might I have I looked up I, yeah. the actor like model like who he is so just to maybe see if that had anything to do with anything but um i don't i'm not sure yet maybe it's gonna be like a a, a plot twist but um anyways but besides the favorite thing I, I actually had a a theory i wanted to throw on you guys and see what you thought or more of a not a theory more of a question but uh, before i get to that i want to we were talking about butcher and i really like how the last episode you kind of see how he's he's getting softer but not in a bad way right like Huey got hurt. He immediately, like, for me, it really stuck out to me that he rushed to Huey's side, dude. He was just like, Huey, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And he was like, he before Starlight, even, you know? And um, and he even admits to Starlight, you know? He's like, I guess he is my canary, you know? And before yeah. when Huey approached him with that, he's like, he, he's like, what are you talking about? You know, I'm not going to say the words, obviously, but a uh, very mouthful butcher. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that was a good kind of, and he, you know, he sees Starlight and, how she is and he kind of like feels like you know maybe not all soups not all soups are bad right it's that yeah. type of vibe there which is cool but leading from that into the th- question i want to ask you guys i thought it was kind of unique that they just they mentioned the compound v in adults and how it just instantly works i thought that was not out of left field but i thought it was important do you think it was kind of strange that they introduced that like maybe that's going to play an important part later down the line like maybe butcher gets powers or someone in their group well, I mean, I mean it's not know, guaranteed just... yet, right? Like, that's what they're right. testing out in that facility. and Right, right. But yeah, I thought it was like... interesting that they introduced it, you know? Like, so I'm thinking, yeah. like, and obviously it was kind of shut down, the the situation that got a hand. I mean, some people are loose, but uh, yeah. I thought that was very interesting, like, for me. Because I'm, I'm always a type that, like, usually things don't get introduced unless, you know, there's for a, a reason. There's a reason and to I it. Thought maybe, yeah. yeah, so I thought maybe, I mean... <laughs> I think it'd be a curse for butcher to like get powers but you know also at the same time he'd have to like i don't know i think that'd be kind of interesting or just any one of them right none of them really have superpowers except starlight at this point and uh uh Kim- kimiko right yeah yeah I, I don't think they should in my opinion i think it is no yeah i don't think they character. should but i i yeah. hope that you know it's just interesting to think about it feels like a cw Can I say a comic book comic book thing What's that? Tell you one difference about just the boys. first thing. Watch it, just like yeah, I know. It's like because it's, it's interesting. I want to say scary. it's Huey. So the difference, it? huh? It's Huey. The difference <laughs> between the, the the comic book and the show is like so. In the comic book, their superheroes are more prevalent. So there's actually like the Teen Titans. The Seven is just one of the teams. Okay. And oh. the boys' goal is just to kill a lot of them, basically. Or just yeah, just do the boy stuff yeah, with a lot the, the of boys the superheroes, and the way they fight them is oh, they they ingest the V and they have superpowers. Oh, each so of them? Like that's that's like that's not even explained. That's just a thing. It's oh. really a thing in the in the oh. comic book. So like that's how they that's what they do to fight. Yeah, to, okay. to kill the superheroes. So that's literally that's all the comic book is is fighting joke superheroes. I feel like they're leading up to like a, a fight, that though, is right? Quite you know, diff- that is super different. Yeah, 
It's like, so it's literally, oh, who are we fighting today? Oh, it's like the Teen Titans or the Batman or something. The and then they're like, Titans. and they kill them. Oh, wow. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. That, that's, that's definitely that. interesting. Makes, that makes me so, want to check out the the comic. You should read the comic because it's, 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 it's different. It's, it's nothing okay. like the show at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So. All right, well, let's wrap things up, guys. Final thoughts on the past three episodes. Again, yeah, aside from the fact that episode six is definitely the best in terms of... Uh, I, I think it, so far it's the best episode for me this, this whole yeah, season. Yeah, it had everything. Like, you know, a lot of, like, we had the backstory. We haven't had a lot of good backstory and action and that little infiltration sequence. I, I loved everything in this episode. It was great. Like, yeah. reveals, like, whoa, what? she's a grandma. You know, it's like, what? She's, a, <laughs> she's Captain America. <laughs> Her daughter looks so old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's great. Like, I feel like this is what Game of Thrones should should have been. <laughs> Ooh, let's all jump the gun. They, they could still go Game of Thrones and subvert our, subvert no, but our they're feeling. Not, they're not using source material, right? Like, oh. they're building off the source material. They're, just, they're not just making super fanfic that's like, well, oh, I don't know. That's, I don't, I want to, I want to agree with the author. <laughs> your your like, natural they, they, instinct is to to agree with the with the yeah. creator of the thing. Okay. Yeah, you know, just, uh, I, 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 I feel bad if, if he feels bad. But yeah, I, usually I don't the think authors feel bad. Like don't Alan, like Alan Moore really is just a crazy wizard. <laughs> he is though. He super is. Uh, Derek, you you were saying? No, I said usually the authors, right? I, I kind of think of a time. Has there really been authors that are like kind of like? I like what they did. I'm trying to oh, think. Oh, like, you know, J.K. Rowling before Twitter. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, she, but she has, but I mean, she definitely has, like, a, a, a was very opinionated about some things, right? Like, I'm, I'm trying to like think: is there some author that like a movie that was kind of bigger or a show, and they're like they nailed it? I feel like the author would be pissed too. I mean, I, if it was me, you know, it's kind of like if you think about I mean, it, right? You George, made it, it like like all of a sudden. The first it's couple like of different. seasons, right? Of Game of Thrones? Yeah, I would say George. Oh, oh, sorry, George. I thought you were talking about George Lucas. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's true. Basis here. That's true. That's true. I know. What else is based on a book? Um, Lately. But I mean, Star Wars was a comic, right? First, wasn't it? No. no it was, it was, it was well, a I thought, I mean, the up. idea was like a little illustration and then it brought to life, or no? I mean, the storyboard that's kind of. I guess. I guess. It, yeah. no. Star Wars was a movie. The yeah. get go. Yeah. Mm, so uh, definitely not George Lucas. Huh, yeah, I, can't I don't know. Anyway. I can't think of. I mean, as I was saying though, if I if it was like me and I made something, and they took it, it's not that a fact. I don't think it's more that I disagree with it, but it's kind of like you know that wouldn't really be out there if I didn't make this, and I kind of don't like with it. <laughs> it's kind of like you know if you think about it, but I don't know. That's just me. I don't think I'd be upset, but depending on how different it is yeah like kind of like what wancho said depending on the how they're they're going with the goal you know like what are they trying to like portray to the audience type of thing mm -hmm. yeah that would be the that would be the reason for me to like react i, I like try to look now uh, <laughs> i know well, i was like, trying to think with all that There's being said be. guys we're gonna wrap things up on this episode <laughs> all right let's 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 uh let's take a week's break and, and figure that one out. But guys, it's been a great show. It's been uh it's been thoughtful, it's been uh enlightening and you know, with the last episode of the boys being next week, it opens us up for more Lovecraft country and uh other things. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, uh, we have to talk about Lovecraft. Oh for sure. Hundred percent. Yeah, 100%. it's really yeah. good. I like it so much too. Yeah, so let's end things here, guys. We want to thank all our most recent followers like Sappy Sato, Hello, Sam, Sisel, Cecil, uh, Luca underscore live, Swolvida, Onazaka, Art Design, Riku Riku Riku, Mendiola Cubicle, Leonie, and Jinko Biloba. Uh, you guys want to check out our. You want, you want to read our subs out, out loud? Yep, yep, so our top subs. Of course. Oh man, where was he today? France, Francisco with 24. Man, was, was he not here? I, 
This wasn't a show, guys. <laughs> Followed by Human Panda 22, Bimo King of Ooh, Miko P, Nerf Diva Sensei Humor, Notorious KGM, Iron Hammer Stream, Insta DZ, Neo Gear, C Fucks, The Nunsi, Riseis, Numali, Zephy Buns, The Fury Bot, Renzo Sorbus, Trandrew, Maddox 019, and Nixor. And hey, if you've subbed to us even one time, heck, if, even if you haven't and just watched your show, just thanks. It means a lot to us, really. It really does. It really does. And guys, we have bit cheers left and right, but you know what? Our most recent ones have uh, have really warmed themselves up to our hearts. Like Ion Hammerstream, who cheered us on with 100 bits recently. DZ giving us two <laughs> whole bits here on Twitch. And uh, we got to give it up for Shul Fox, who gave okay. us one bit. But he, he, he put like a one... And then he put like a, I think a zero after. So technically he wanted to give like 10 bits, but he only gave, like, he could only give one. But we love you. <laughs> we love you for the thought, Show Fox. Even if you guys are just thinking about giving us bits, we appreciate every single one of you. Our emo yes. chart is off the chart, guys, because I'm back on top. Oh, wait, no, that's all time. All time, all time. Wancho Fist is way, way in the lead now with 284 use. Can I get some sensei's in the chat? Sensei's in the chat. Thank you. Yeah. And, and he I'm says, like, I'm like 90 above you. Don't, don't eat. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. What a uh, come from behind. Guys can't, you can't let Wancho fist me, guys. Come on. Get, let, let's beat him. Come on. And the thing is, every time someone says hi in the chat, I was expecting the sense hey would be used. Yeah, like, hey, guys, and we, we do the sense hey. But because we're so busy <laughs> in the middle of the shows, usually, we never get to do it. So I encourage everyone, Wancho, Derek, everyone, when you get a new person in the chat, just give them a little sense, hey, you know? I like that back. idea. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. No, you no, give them like a, a you know what, guys? bump, you know? Hey, what's up? You know, just if you're feeling good about your day, just just get a little sense, hey, in the chat, you know? That's fine, too. Whatever whatever you're feeling, just, I just get like 10 of those in chat right now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. I actually have I don't have access to the the, the Wancho fist like I don't I've never subbed sorry guys no, no I've never had <laughs> it's all good. Some it's all so good. I've ne I don't even have access to it yeah guys how can you let an unsubber beat me come on boys <laughs> and girls it just means they love the emote <laughs> yeah it is a good emote I won't lie I like the emote a lot <laughs> wasn't it your idea Derek was it was my idea too <laughs> no I know right and it's like it's just perfect. And you would think Wancho would hate it, but he doesn't. <laughs> oh, I actually man. like the Iron Fist. I just hate the show, okay? I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, guys, that's it for us. Well, uh, Derek, can you tell the people at home where they can find us on the socials? Yes, you guys can find us on Facebook and Twitter. That's Quit Stalling Us, US at the end. Once again, that's Facebook and Twitter. And guys, for YouTube, obviously Twitch and Instagram, please check us out quit stalling all one word no spaces we'd really appreciate it come check us out yep that's right guys uh yeah youtube twitch instagram at quit stalling YouTube. derek where can everyone at home find you when you're not on a quit stalling show when i'm not on the quit stalling show you can catch me on my stream at sense of humor um i'm probably not gonna be streaming until wednesday but i have been streaming quite uh more often lately also be sure to check out i know we just say not quit stalling show but our quit stalling show the otaku cast i post yes! weekly and with wantro most of the time it's really awesome currently doing one piece content we're definitely going to open it up to a lot more so just go ahead and give us a watch and we appreciate it we appreciate it but enough about me where can they find the fisty wancho at um you can well if i'm not the quit stalling Geekcast. I'm normally just hopping on someone else's stream. I don't really have my own this, a stream of my own, but yeah, sometimes I'm I'm on the Otaku cast. I'm in Derek's stream, and uh, hey, sometimes when Harold plays, sometimes I like to hop on there. So yeah, yes. the Robin to their Batman, you know, <laughs> such a good Robin too, man. You 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 make oh, us feel good. Instagram Which at Solano Wancho, Twitter <laughs> at Wancho Solano, or one or the other, something like that. Thanks. Yeah. That's Wancho with the Juan at the start, so G J U A N C H O Saldana S A L D A N A. Uh, you guys can catch me at Harold Plays on Twitter and on Instagram, and uh, check out our stories here on Quitstall. And we got some 
in the lineup for you. We had uh, Derek's super funny one the other day where uh, he gave us what all anime characters sound like when they're surprised. Isn't that right, Derek? That is true. That was, uh, I'm sadly to admit that that was on the toilet, but yes. Um, <laughs> but definitely I'm good. bored when that happens. That's um, super there's, good. there's a new one yeah, coming yeah. out later, too. <laughs> The second one of your of your series of a uh, oh anime yes I did one. a part two you're right I gotta start thinking of other ones now I watch oh, yeah. it I watch it enough right you think oh dude oh my God, people I'm so, were I totally saying forgot it didn't look to like watch. you people were saying it didn't look like you because you didn't have the beard on your anime oh character. dude yeah I know it didn't give me a beard um I actually was really funny there's one person that did it and he has a long mustache and he gave him a really long mouth it looked like a, like the Joker kind of it was really creepy yeah. <laughs> But I was trying to, man. I was trying to, but we'll see. Maybe, you know, maybe Sensei will shave soon. And that way you guys will get It'll fit. It'll fit. Or, or wear yeah, the hat. There you go. Wear the hat. Oh, yeah. I should wear the hat. You're right. Yeah. I'll do that next time for you guys. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Uh, any otaku casts this week? Do we have Do we have an episode this week? Um, I'm going to... I, I the, That's coming up Wednesday. I'm going to try my best to get it up on thursday if i can if the net's pretty fast because this week's was really good for one piece um if not for gotcha, sure man, your fans are waiting yeah your hundreds of viewers are waiting now it was like the worst time that we had to move this weekend and then like the best one of the best chapters came out like this week too for one yeah. piece so yeah i'm on like a fire hide too so i've been reading a lot of speaking of one piece and about a character who does fire moves and then you had lamp lighter on the boys and i was like i, I kind of i like lamp lighter right now because I'm really into fire. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well, that's it for us, guys. We'll see you next week. Uh, anything else we should say before we before we end the show? Any, any, anything we might no, have just missed? Thanks for watching. And, and uh, see you next week. Oh, yeah, same bad time, same bad place. Yeah, I, I, I got one. Song. I got one. Uh, if you guys want to message us. Sorry, Wanta. If you guys want to message us, just hit us up on the Discord. What? Why, yes. that, that usually brings up the Discord. I don't know. Is our bot not working today? Oh, our, our bot is down. Yeah. Just hit us up. I, I am Discord. a little oh. sad today. You're right. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Derek. I'll, 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 I'll link the Discord in the chat. If you guys want to <laughs> message us, say hi. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get a conversation going about the boys because we want to talk more about the boys. Yes, uh, please. With, with friends. Yeah. So here, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paste it in the chat. If you guys, yeah, the bot is down, Bimo. That's so weird. Here, there's a there's a link to the Discord. If you guys want to message us, you can also tweet us. You know, at quit stalling us or you know anywhere we just mentioned. Anywhere, anywhere. Find our podcasts on Spotify, Google Play, uh, Apple Podcasts, and so much more. If we're not there, let us know. Tweet us, and we'll we'll, we'll add it there. That's about it. Wancho, sign us off one more time. All right. Uh, well, just get get off your butts and quit stalling. Bye, See you everyone. Guys next time. Bye. See ya. Doses.